The Black Lives Matter movement has been around for years, but after the death of George Floyd, the movement has had increased engagement and calls to action nationally and here in the Ocean State. Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Carter caught up with Rhode Island Black Lives Matter officials about the changes they say they've seen in the last few months. We have all heard the chants of Black Lives Matter in Southern New England. So what has changed? Well, according to the head of the Rhode Island Black Lives Matter, a whole lot. From around the world to right here in Rhode Island, many people have now heard of the Black Lives Matter movement. Something Gary Danzler, head of the Rhode Island Black Lives Matter movement, says is a big change in itself. I think that we, we, we're making progress. In addition to national changes like some cities banning chokeholds during police arrests, Dancer says there has been a lot of local changes too. The RI Police Chiefs Association signed a pledge to address systemic racism, as well as Governor Raimondo working together with Black Lives Matter. Well, we just talked about what we can do for our communities and, and some of the community leaders She came out and we kind of had an action plan. To some members of the movement have also called for defunding of the local police. This has been largely met with conversations on reallocating money and resources. Dancer says perhaps the biggest change is the upcoming vote to officially keep or change and Providence plantations from the state name and Governor Raimondo removing it from all official documents. I think it's about time that we put that on the ballot. It's, it's been a long time coming. I think we should have been doing this a while ago. It's very important when you see the word replantation, it's kind of a reminder of, you know, the mental, the mental strain and, 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 and so many different things, the level of uh, racism. Now, Dancer says what he thinks is one of the best changes is seeing all nationalities work together to end racism and protest. I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.